All right, y'all. So we are live. We are live. So mystery shop shopping secrets revealed. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into it. I am your host, Jaleesa Cheatham, also known as it pays to know Jaleesa. So Y'all, I just want to do uh, definitely a, a quick webinar. It's not going to be too long. I'm not going to take up much of the time this evening because I do know that your time is precious just as my time is precious. And it is late since we are going to late start this evening, but it is all good, right? Because you guys are going to learn some secrets tonight, going to reveal some things, all right? So you guys, first things first, is a lot of people, I put a post, if you guys, a lot of you guys responded to a poster either um, you're on my email marketing list um, that I put out about mystery shopping. So the first thing I want to talk about is a lot of people are known to get junk emails and things like that in that nature about coming to mystery shopper or a secret shopper, and they want to know how do you actually get paid doing so right okay my computer's tripping um how you get paid to to eat paid to shop paid to do basically what you're already doing um and a lot of people are intrigued on that right so you're probably wondering is it legitimate is it all a scam well tonight i'm going to be revealing some secrets about it all getting ready to so you guys can learn some of the ins and outs of free food, new shopping experience, and getting money in your wallet all at the same time. So in other words, this really is um, the gateway to potentially being the best shopper you've ever had. All right. So, oh, I didn't mute everybody on contact. Let me do that. So everybody's muted. All right. All right. All right. Yes. All right, so tonight, you guys, we're going to be talking about, um, first of all, what is mystery shopping? And what's the difference between mystery shopping, personal shoppers, and secret shoppers? Also, we're going to talk about what type of jobs you can do as a mystery shopper, how you're compensated as a mystery shopper, and how much money you can make as a mystery shopper. And then the last question, how do you actually become a mystery shopper, right? So I'm jumping right in. Um, being... Well, mystery shopping period, basically, is a job where a company pays you to pose as a regular customer, and then you provide feedback to the company on things they like, um, such as, well, not things they like, but things such as um, how clean the store is or how well the employees interact with you and those type of natures. Um, in exchange for your feedback, they pay you a fee, and in some cases, they will ask you to purchase um, and also reimburse you up to a set dollar amount, depending on your actual, your actual mystery shop experience that you're doing. Um, many companies really do hire internally, and when I say internally, the company itself hires a mystery shopping company, a company to measure the quality, service, or compliance of that actual um, store or location to make sure they're in regulation, um, to gather information on different products and service, just basically to check up on their employees and do what they're actually supposed to be doing. Um, for instance, you have some of the big name car companies such as Hyundai, they will hire mystery shopping companies, market research companies, things like that, to go out and get people to basically check up on their employees, see how the actual feedback is going. And a lot of times companies tend to do this based off reviews they've gotten left um, by irate customers, happy customers, uh, mad customers, all that. So they actually take, they want someone who is skilled in this arena that can actually give them some honest feedback um, based upon their actual experience at a location. All right, so you guys, some people ask, what's the difference between a mystery shopper, a secret shopper, and a personal shopper? Honestly, you guys, they all are the same, every single one of them. Um, they're just called different things, even have one out there talking about a ghost shopper. So if you see the title mystery shopper, secret shopper, personal shopper, they're exactly the same thing, um, unless it has a different definition underneath it, <laughs> but 99.9% .9 of the time, they are all the same thing, all right? 
So this is a common question that I get is what type of jobs can you do as a mystery shopper? You guys, if you see I have the list here, the, <laughs> the list is really unlimited. So we have automotive service shops. Those are ones where you can get oil changed. I've got oil change service done on my cars, things like that. Car and truck sales, where you're actually trying to buy, buy a vehicle, you're acting imposing it if you want to buy a vehicle. Um, a convenience store, that can be a gas station um, or also a um, the part of a type of grocery store like a Kroger if you guys um, are on the what are we on the East Coast you got Kroger's and Publix if you're on the West Coast you got food for less Ralph's Vons things like that in that nature Albertsons so those are type of stores you can get um, entertainment you guys uh, you have things such as um, goodness concerts um there was one i was trying to do um, a little while ago i was trying to do the drake concert in florida <laughs> but things just didn't work right when i was going to do that but um you have entertainment such as uh movies um goodness the the entertainment just can go on and on um banking and financial open up banking accounts um depositing money in the banks, things like that. Grocery stores already said that. In-home services, different things is somebody getting an estimate on a window. Um, health, beauty, and fitness. You guys, that is clear as day. Um, health, um, as far as the gym, beauty products, healthcare, also going to different doctors, hotels. They have the hotels that are in, combined with the entertainment, which is you can do a, you can be a mystery shopper for a hotel or the hotel is a resort or it's a casino. So that's kind of like hotel meets entertainment, right? So you're doing mystery shops on all those things. And then as we get down on the list, you see casual dining, fine dining, things like that. And you can have kind of all three of those in one at the same time. Give me one second, you guys. All right, so you have the, the food where you can have, for instance, a casino where you're doing a mystery shop based upon the room that you're in, the quality of the room, if it's clean. You're also doing um, the employees that you see, as well as at your, when you're at the casino, at the slot machines or at the table, and also when you eat at the casino, different restaurants and things like that. So you have some shops, too, that are combined all in one. You have your retail shop, which are like the Macy's. You have, oh goodness, let me think, um, Micro Center. You have Target, Walmart, Best Buy, um, different things like that. Online shopping, Amazon, um, again, Walmart, different things like that. Apartment and housing, that's one that I've done before too. Um, going to different apartment complexes and acting as if you were interested in getting an apartment. And you just basically go through the process. Some of those do require you to do video, which I absolutely love. I prefer. So um, you can do video mystery shopping as well, too. Um, then you also have um, your fast food, which is like your McDonald's, your Burger King. But then you also have the casual dining, the fine dining. You have the Ruth Chris. You have the Season 52. Um, you even have the Dick Slash Resort. Um, that was a fun one that I did. And um, you have transportation and travel, you guys. Flights, going to different places such as New York. There was one of the ones I almost got on that one and knew that one, but it was flying to New York. I'm um, flying to Miami, all right? And you also have the mystery shops that are in the airport as well, too, that you can do the different restaurants as well. Um, you have merchandising, which is, is one of them. You go into Best Buy and you just basically checking out the merchandise on there, um, doing exit interviews, dem doing demonstrations, sampling, um, installations. A lot of those installations are like with movies. You ever go to the movies and you see these big, um, the big, they're, ca they're called installations, but they're a big cardboard type of um, stand that maybe is promoting a new movie. Somebody has to put that up and you'd be surprised a lot of the people who work in the movie theater, they don't put those up. There's mystery shop jobs to do that, which is crazy, right? Um, you have bottling and acting mystery shops, um, price check inventory where you're going into a store, literally to check the price and see if they have this item that's supposed to be in, on sale and advertised on sale. 
Um, there's focus groups, there's polls. Um, some of the polls I've done are at the movie theaters where you're literally asking people um, once they saw the movie, what they thought of it and what they thought of the previews. Another poll is one of my favorite ones that I, I've done is to get the audience reaction when they're actually doing um, the, the, the previews, right? Um, or we call them trailer checks. That's also a mystery shot. But you're, you have to gauge the audience reaction. Like if they showed, um, what's the movie? Uh, Fast and Furious 8, the preview for that. What was the audience reaction for that? So they're actually, those are pretty cool. I like those. Um, then also another one about the, one of the movies that you don't have to pay for, <laughs> that is, where you go to the movies and all you're doing is checking to make sure the previews before the movie, um, which are also called trailers, to see if they're playing the right ones. So I don't know if you paid any attention, but sometimes if you're watching TV or maybe you're on YouTube, you're on Facebook, and let's say for the Fast Furious, Fast Furious 8, whatever movie, right? Awesome movie, by the way. Um, let's see, let's say you're watching a trailer for that or a preview for that. You may see a different preview if you're watching it on ABC versus Fox after um, um, after Empire, or if you're watching it on Facebook, or if you're watching on YouTube. That's because the companies that make the movies, they have different trailers of the movie, different basically clips, and different movies are supposed to play certain ones. So it's catered to the actual um audience that person seeing that movie right like when i went to go see oh goodness i'm trying to think of one uh it was a kevin hart movie in the rock i forgot the name of it um central intelligence right and so i noticed that just from doing this that all the previews were geared towards comedy and funny and funny and funny movies right so you start to pay attention with different things like that so that's just some of the types of mystery jobs that you guys can do in terms of when you're mystery shopping so the list literally goes on and on and on but these are just to sum it up with the different categories that you can be a mystery shopper for so when i said at the beginning how can you basically do what you're already doing and get paid for it, this is why. Because you take your kids to the zoo, right? You want to take your kids to Whitewater. You want to take your kids to Six Flags. Or you and your husband or you and your boyfriend want to go out to the movies. Or you want to take your girl to the movies. Or you guys want to go out to eat for a nice restaurant, but that price is a little hefty right now, right? But you know if you get reimbursed, you can finagle some things, right? So um, that's why I love doing mystery shopping. And also it just keeps me um, keen on my customer service experience because I'm a big customer service person. And I just feel like I should be treated with utmost um, respect and customer service. And when you don't treat me that way, boy, oh boy, my boyfriend would tell you, I'll be like, let me find a mystery shop. Let me see if this they on this list right here because oh baby, they need, they need to know about this. And sometimes I will pull the manager aside and find one and say, you know what, I am a mystery shopper. Um, I work with, you know, X, Y, and Z, I'll name a couple, especially if I know the company that's, you know, um, doing the mystery shop scheduling for that particular location. I said, you know, if they were doing such and such, you would have got this, you would have got that. And they'll appreciate my honesty. So I've done that. I'm not greedy and things like that for doing that. But um, if somebody pissed me off, oh, yeah, I'm going to find a shop <laughs> that I can do on you. If not, then I'm going to let your manager know. All right. So um, that's just me. I just, you know, I, I deserve respect. I demand it, right? So. But now it doesn't want to go to the next screen. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's talk about how you're compensated for a mystery shop, all right? So most companies compensate you by either paying you by PayPal or sending you a check in the mail. Um, you can also get reimbursed for a purchase that you've made. Um, you can also be compensated by the experience. So what I mean by that is, let's say for instance, the movie. Right. Let's talk about the movies. There is a plethora of different shops you can do to movies. Like I was talking about, you can do um, trailer checks where you're checking the trailers before the movie starts. You can do the polls, like I was telling you during surveys of people exiting the theater. Um, they even send you money for one of them. If you, you give people to take the survey, they send you two dollar bills. <laughs> you give the people the two dollar bills if they take the survey and just answer like a like five to ten questions. So um, <laughs> that's actually a cool one too. But um, 
And all those right there, you notice that these are all done at the movies, but you're not paying nothing, right? You're, there's nothing to be reimbursed for because you're just getting paid. Now, when you do these movie shops, um, the ones I'm speaking of, the polls and the looking at the, um, the trailers, you're not supposed to stay and watch the movie. All right. I um, mean, you will get in trouble for that um, because they do videotape and see if they're doing it or not. Right. However, um, if you do it a lot and you're cool with, let's say, like someone like me, <laughs> uh, I befriend either a manager or someone working at the desk and where I frequently, frequently come. Um, I usually meet my boyfriend will go and I'll be like, you got any free tickets back there? You know, saying, you know, jokingly, but I'm serious, but I'm not serious. Right. Um, serious, I'm just funny, I'm serious though, right? So I'll ask, and you guys, a lot of times they'll be like, oh, well, yeah, well, we see your manager be like, yeah, I got you, come on, and they'll let me go watch the movie for free. You know what I mean? So it'll be things like that as well, too, where I've been able to watch movies for free um, just by simply asking. All right. So then you have the other ones. Let's talk about getting reimbursed. So you do have the other movie shops where you're going to AMC and you'll get reimbursed for buying a ticket. You'll also get reimbursed for going to the session stand. And you'll also get reimbursed if you go get an alcohol drink. Um, for instance, one of the ones at AMC, I'm um, down here in Atlanta, Georgia, is the, if you're familiar with the areas, like the Cumberland Mall area, and it's also the one downtown by Lenox Mall, right? Uh, the Fork and Screen and some other one, another AMC, the one that's inside the other little Phipps Plaza, all right? So those in particularly, you go to the movies and the whole goal of the mystery shop, you have a goal, right? Um, because with being a mystery shopper, they tell you what you're going to be doing and what you're looking for. So for these particular shops, you're going to these AMC shops and see if you get comforted. That's it. That's the mystery shop. And the only stipulation is you must buy a ticket and you must watch a movie. So it's like, okay, so you're forcing me to watch a movie. Who doesn't want to go to the movies? You can bring somebody with you as well too. All that great stuff. So Literally, me and my boyfriend do that all the time. <laughs> I'm like, you want to go to the movies? Let me see what mystery shop's available. Up, oh, I got one. Let's go. Like, literally, when I tell you the last time I paid full price for a movie, I really can't remember. Either I'm going on a discount date or I'm going on a group hunt studio movie grill because we love that place. Um, but literally, like, honestly, the last time I paid full price for a movie and I got it on a discount day, it had to have been like some last time in last year. And that's because I was in Myrtle Beach with my sister on vacation, I think. And even then, it, we didn't even know. We walked into the movie theaters and it was $6, two there, one there, something like that. So, um, but yeah, literally. There's so many mystery shops out there that um, you just, um, for movies, it's like, why not, right? Especially something as simple as that. So for this AMC movie theater, the goal is to try to buy an alcohol beverage without getting carded. And that's it. So I literally go up to the counter. I um, will buy the ticket for me and my boyfriend. I only get reimbursed. Some of them, you, um, there are ones you get reimbursed for one ticket, and some of them you get reimbursed for two tickets. So it depends on what company you know has you do on the shop. And then you go and try to purchase an alcohol beverage. And you'd be like, and I, I'd be like, oh man, dang, I left my license in the car, man. I don't even walk it on my back. They'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. So the whole goal is to see if they, if these individuals make sure they're carning people, excuse me, um, because their liquor license can be taken away. I've seen where a grocery store, Kroger, have their liquor license taken away for a whole year um, just because there weren't carning people, right? And they got caught with a mystery shopper. So, um, Something as simple as that could be really detrimental to the, the um, company's, you know, revenue if they get in trouble and get their liquor license taken away, especially someplace like Fitz Plaza or Cumberland Mall area, right, down here in Atlanta. So um, I try to purchase it if I can't get one, um, which I've always gotten turned down, which is great for them. And so then... I'm able to go to the bar, and if they are, they do give me a drink. I do pay for it out my personal money. I'm going to get reimbursed for it. And also, if they don't give me the drink, then I'm able to go to the concession stand and buy a drink and a snack, and I get reimbursed for that. All right? So those are the kind of things that will happen in terms of that particular shop. And then I just go back to the movie and continue watching the movie with my boyfriend, and that's it.
I get home, I do the report, answer the questions, and literally there goes a free movie because by the time, honestly, those paid between $15 to $30, and then you get reimbursed for every, for any for any amount you spent. So if you spent $30, $40, you're going to get that $15 to $20 or $15 to $30, and then plus whatever you spent, um, you know, you get reimbursed for it. So by the time we go to the movies, and I pay for my ticket, his ticket, we buy the joint, we get reimbursed. Sometimes I break even um, by the time because tickets, movie tickets are kind of expensive. So by the time I get reimbursed and what I'm actually paid, um, it may break even or sometimes I make five to 20 bucks, you know? But for me, it's a win-win because one, I get to go on a date with my man. Two, I get paid for it uh, or it's a freebie, right? And it's something I'm already going to do, so why not get paid for it, right? So that's just one of the ways um, you can get compensated um, in terms of, you know, doing reimbursements. Another way, just to give you an example, um, as I said, such as concerts, amusement parks, and sporting events, is we went to the Hawks game. And the Hawks game that we went to, um, they sent us the tickets in the mail. They gave us a place to park. We didn't have to pay anything up front. They um, gave us the tickets and the place we parked, we got to park where the, where the players parked, which was crazy. We got all VIP treatment. We got club level access. Everything, we were all in the club seats. It was, it was amazing. It was an awesome experience. Um, however, that report was not my best friend. <laughs> so that's something you gotta be mindful of. So I didn't make anything um, off that initial, that shop, the Hawks game, but I got to take in the experience. So that game, but I, we added up um, with the tickets, the club seats, the parking, everything would have came up to about five, $600. Um, so the tickets that we had and everything. So that's, and we were exchanging our time for an experience. So for me, it was worth it. If you're not a Hawks fan, maybe it's not worth it for you. Um, we were trying to get, my boyfriend's a big Falcons fan. I was trying to get mystery shops when the, um, the Falcons were playing. Could not get those. Um, they were going like that. So um, there's different things you can do, amusement parks. Um, and you can, you can also, um, what do I want to say? What's the word I'm looking for? uh negotiate you can negotiate with these people too um who have the miss who have the shop i've negotiated tickets to go to amusement parks such as six flags and whitewater and said you know what you guys want to do the shop yes you're reimbursing for this but you're only sending me one ticket i need two tickets well let me see what i can do okay well you want me to do the shop in this day well you know what i'll do whitewater and six flags but if if you give me since you need both of these places done i'll do both of them for you you know i'm a good shopper but you need to give me two tickets to whitewater and two tickets to six flags and they'll either say yes or no the worst thing they can say is no um but you can ask but let me tell you baby i got my two tickets to whitewater and i didn't even do enough even doing the six flags one. so um <laughs> that's just something else you know so you can be compensated by your experience and you actually get paid moolah all right so let's talk about how much money you can make as a mystery shopper so the exact amount really to earn uh, most really um, on a typical, I would say between $5 and $60 um, and occasionally more. Um, I've been able actually to generate anywhere from $5 to $300 just for a single shop. So really, it's really a much, it's really about how much money you really want to make versus how much money you can make. So once you just map off the plan, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Literally, um, I've done shops where I've gotten paid five dollars, or like I said, I, I didn't pay nothing, but I'm exchanging um, the information that I'm, you know, submitting in the report to for an experience. I've gotten ones where me and my boyfriend and Dak, we were getting married, and it was very early in our relationship, so it was a little awkward, but fun at the same time. We got to, um, we had to role play. Um, I still remember it. This was, um, goodness, this was a couple, we did this one a couple years ago. Um, we had to do an interview um, with the mystery shopping company who wanted us to do it. They're like, all right, you guys are a great fit. Okay, good to go. Um, we had to say, we had to go to Zales and Tiffany's and say that we were looking to get married. And my sister's, my sister's friend 
told me to come here um, to this place, so that's why we're here. And I was like, really? You came up with this? My sister's friend? Okay. So my sister's friend told me to come, um, and then we had to make sure they were going to, to the clarity. So honestly, that mystery shop too, and a lot of mystery shops that you do, you're you're gaining more to than just making money, the experience, yes, but I actually learned a lot. I didn't know that a diamond had all these different clarities, the C and the D, and I was really interested and I learned um, a lot about rings and, you know, looking at different rings and, they're, you know, they're very informative, so you can actually learn a lot. Um, goodness, I've done timeshare ones. Um, well, before I go into that, but that meant that the one that I did with Zells and Tiffany, that was one we got paid $300 um, to do that shop, to act like we were getting married. So that was fun. We had to go to two places, um, and it was a, a combo shop. We got paid 300 and that was just for one shop. So like I said, um, you can make, it just depends on how you want to do and how you plan it out and what you're willing to do, right? So... Um, I've done ones with timeshares where I had to go and see a time, I had to go and act like I'm purchasing a timeshare and rate their customer service, right? Um, and I did it and I was like, man, and one of the things is I couldn't buy it. So I had to wait a week to after I submitted my shop and I got my money for the shop, right? Um, wait till after I got my paid and went back and I bought it. I bought the, uh, the timeshare. I was like, man, this is a good deal. I had to get this, right? So <laughs> um, sometimes I'm a sucker for a good deal. I'm like, dang, I can't even buy it. Then they have one, so they do want you to buy it. So, um, you know, it's just a really fun experience all the way around. So let's also talk about, all right, so how to become a mystery shopper. Um, the one thing you need to do first, you guys, is do your research, all right? Do your research so you make sure you are avoiding scams, right? Um, and as you're doing your research, you'll start to get a list of different companies and just start creating a list of all the companies that you know that are good, the ones that you've researched, um, because any company should not, um, if anyone asks you to pay to be an actual mystery shopper, do not do it. All right. You should never pay a company for you to miss to a mystery shop for them. So just keep that in mind. Um, you want to make sure you create a mystery shopping profile of yourself. And literally, that's taking a Word document and putting all your information in. Because what you have to do, actually, is you see in the next one, you have to sign up with many different uh, mystery shopping companies. There's not just one company um, that you can go with. I mean, you can, but to make sure that you get a lot of um, jobs coming in, you want to make sure you apply to different ones. Um, you want to also make sure you have the right equipment to get the job done. That's either having a smartphone, literally, that's probably all you need, possibly a printer and a computer. Um, if you don't have those things, you know, you can go to the, um, a friend's, um, you know, a print out something if you need to, or go to an office max or something like that. Um, and you just want to make sure that you sign up for companies that, you know, that you can handle and make sure you monitor the different sites for new information. All right, so what I'm actually going to be doing, I just wanted to give you guys some information this evening. It wasn't selling anything. Just wanted to, um, a lot of you guys piqued interest into mystery shopping. Just wanted to know a little bit about it. So what I'm actually going to be doing here in the next um, week is I'm actually doing a mystery shopping course. So um, everything that I just showed in the next slide am, is going to be a basically to done for you um, course where I'm going over uh, the best companies that I've worked with. And I'm also going to have some people who, um, who have done other mystery shopping companies as well, too. And I'm going to have them come in, um, be a live webinar. And I'm also going to do some live actual um, classes too at different locations so i have that coming up along with the ebook so i'll be releasing that in the next week or so um so those individuals who are actually serious and really do want to know um how to mystery shop so i'll cut that learning curve for you um you'll get a list of just uh, a lot of things and because i'm just creating it you're going to get just some a lot of great freebies in it all. So I'll be releasing that. So if you are interested in seriously becoming a mystery shopper, um, inbox me. Inbox me on Facebook or email. Um, you can reach me at um, on my Facebook. A lot of you guys, jaleesacheatham.com. I'm um, sorry, not jaleesacheatham.com. Jaleesa, it pays to know Jaleesa, Facebook forward slash it pays to know Jaleesa. Um, you can email me at it pays to know Jaleesa at gmail.com. 
and let me know if you're interested and I'll make sure I get that information to you as it's getting released. So that will cut down that time. I'll be helping with how to do the mystery shopping profile, um, which companies are the best to sign up with and make sure you got the right equipment and all the different tools that I use. Um, so you can avoid all these scams. With, I, I'm going to be showing you companies that I've worked with, showing you my back office um, and to the actual company that I've worked with as well too so you can see that it's legitimate and it's real along with the pay and how everything all works so that way you're ready to just hit the ground running if this is something you honestly want to do or if you know someone um, because you literally can make just extra income or you can replace your income there's people who do it um, <laughs> I me and my mother um, have done mystery shops where I'm like you know what I'm gonna go to Florida this weekend what mystery shops can I pick up along the way and while I'm doing down there? Can I get a hotel shop and an amusement shop? And let me try to get a movie shop and some food places, right? Uh, me and my boyfriend did that when we went to, um, where did we go? We went to, was it Smoky Mountains or Gatlinburg? I forgot which one. It was for Valentine's Day. Um, that mystery shop I was telling you about, the timeshare, I got that from mystery shop. <laughs> we went down there. Um, we went out to eat, went to Dick Slash Resort. If you don't know that place, look it up. They're paid to be mean to you. It's the worst stuff ever. Um, it was hilarious. But that was, I did that at shop as well too. Got paid for that and reimbursed and we spent almost like a hundred and something dollars and we got reimbursed and paid for that one. So um, literally, <laughs> like we made a whole trip of it. We went out. So you can really do, say, you know, plan a trip, go out with your loved one, even with your children. They have aquariums, zoos. So you really, it's all about how you want to do it. And so I've been asked about this for the last few years. I've been mystery shopping myself since 2010. So I can literally say I've been doing it for about seven years. And I love it. I don't do it every month. I don't do it all the time, um, but I'm just working up a lot of things. So um, you guys are just in the forefront of me being able to actually do this. Um, and oh, go through. Um, you to actually be in the forefront um, as I'm thinking about also doing some one-on-ones where I go to a different city or you guys can meet with me and do a mystery shop with me. So there is so many ideas I have that I'm going to start releasing. So you could be in the forefront to get all those great things. And if you're interested, let me know. All right. So I'm going to open it up for any questions right now. If you guys have any questions, um, everyone is muted, so you have to unmute yourself if you want to ask a question or you can go ahead and type it in the chat.